Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakodash, Double Honor to our Elder Apostles and Elder Bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. Romans chapter 8, verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Verse 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I want to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He is, He to be, or He exists. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His real name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shah, which means He is the Deliverer. Bahasham means in the name. Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. The basic principle of faith. The basic principle of faith. At the end of the day, that's really what this thing is about. And that's really all that we have. Which really is everything. So it's not to be taken lightly. Faith is everything. And I say basic principle because the word basic, that goes back to your base, your foundation. All right. One of the uh, the fundamental elements of this truth. For example, when you read in the scriptures in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, it speaks about the faith and patience of the saints because faith and patience really go hand in hand. All right. But I'm bringing this out because a lot of times the Lord will bring us to a lower state. He'll bring us to different low points where all we have is faith. And he shows us that really he is our only way out. You know, he puts us in our positions where we have to activate that faith. And we also see, OK, this is where I'm at with my level of faith when it comes to this particular thing, you know. Because he knows what can potentially move us or, or what can what can agitate us, what can get to us. All right. What can bring us to a boiling point. But the point is. Faith, which is everything, is a basic principle. And when YouTube goes away. You know, when um when the Internet is gone, when the famine of the word hits. When Jacob's trouble comes, faith is going to be all that we have, man. I know I keep reiterating that, but that's really what this truth is about. Because in most situations, we're going to be on our own. Okay? So that's why it's all about really building up our faith in this truth. You know? And not only doing the videos, which the videos are highly important. As the apostles have stressed, beginning with Apostle Tahar, we're supposed to be doing daily videos. And for brothers that may not see my videos consistently, I'm making it my business to make them up. If you don't see something one day, well, my business is to do two or three videos the next day, you know, because there's really no excuse. And I'm saying that beginning with myself, you know, but bringing it back. We have to solely rely on our faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's showing us that. All right. So reading this again in Hebrews and I'll go back to Romans. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith, our belief, our trust is the substance of things hoped for. Of things hoped for. What we're hoping for. The kingdom of heaven. To get the hell up out of Babylon the Great. To get up out of this captivity. And for brothers that are not living in Babylon the Great, you still want to be delivered from this beast system. All right, because we're all in this beast system. We need to be delivered from it. Okay, that's what we're hoping for, for Yahweh Shah to uh, come back. 
Now, do we see Yahweh Shah? No, we do not. But we see him through the spirit. All right. But but physically, he's in another realm. Him and his heavenly father. They're in another dimension. OK. But we see them through the spirit. Now, reading the rest, the evidence of things not seen. So evidence goes into proof, you know, and dealing with faith, you can't see faith. Faith itself is invisible. All right. Another example, you can't see the wind, but it exists. All right. And it comes to a point to where we know that this is the truth. You know, you first come in and you believe, but then it comes to a point to where you know this is it. And that's exactly why there are certain elements and forces doing their damn best to pretty much remove us from the truth. There's a war for our souls. Okay, and the main battle is the war of the mind, all right? But that's why it all goes back to faith. Our faith has to outweigh these different ideas, these uh you know, th these different things that may enter into our mind. But you have the weakness of the flesh, but you also have the spiritual demon Satan and the demons under him that uh pretty much feed off of that. You know, it all goes back to our faith, though. Now, this is Romans 8 and 24 again, for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth. Why doth he yet hope for? Right. And see, ultimately. At the end of the day, we're hoping to be delivered from the time of Jacob's trouble. Can we see Jacob's trouble yet? No, we don't. But we have faith in the scriptures that it's going to happen. Everything that's written has happened, is happening, and is going to happen. So Jacob's trouble is inevitable. But along with that is Esau's downfall. It's inevitable. He can't stop it. He has an expiration date on his time, on his kingdom. You know? And he can't stop us from receiving the kingdom. You know? Lord willing, we're the elect. But he can't stop the elect from being delivered, man. He can't stop it. All right. But the point is, it all goes back to our faith, our hope. You know, now we can't see all hell breaking loose, but we hope to be delivered from it. Like I said, for we are saved by hope, faith, but hope that is seen is not hope. For example, people hope in this society. This society is going down. All right. For what a man see if why does he yet hope for? Right. Because you can go out and get it. You can put all your time and energy and get in the bag. But at the end of the day, this place is going to be destroyed. But if we hope for that, we see not, for example, the kingdom of heaven. Then do we with patience wait for it? So once again, here is the faith and the patience of the saints. And what I'm noticing, you know, uh, throughout my walk, and I know you brothers and you sisters see it as well, especially you brothers, because, you know, you're on the, uh, the front lines. Basically, you know, Satan it's throwing things our way. They have nothing to do with the truth. They have nothing. That have nothing to do with salvation. That has nothing to do with the prophecies. All right. So we see the battle that's before us, man. You know, that's why I'm sharing this in the spirit. First, I really had to internalize this before, you know, I started speaking on it because, you know, we apply these things to our walk. You know, and, and through the spirit, I'm seeing that that's why um, the Lord, he's bringing us to these different low points, you know, because it all goes back. to are we going to have faith, period? You know what I'm saying? But um, let me go from here. I'll get Colossians. The second chapter. And Lord, will, this isn't too long. Colossians chapter 2 verse 7 Beginning at verse 6 As ye therefore have received Hamashiach Yahweh the Lord So walk ye in him Right And, and, and that's our battle Because we're in the flesh Now we're not going to be As perfect as our Lord Yahweh Shai That's why he's our pioneer He's the main example That chief cornerstone 
All right. But see, we're building on that foundation that he laid. All right. And the Lord will, we're a part of that. You see. Let's say so walk ye in him, which goes into walking in the spirit. Now, verse seven, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. Like the brother Ayasha Moth, he was doing a lesson earlier, I believe this morning. And it was going into unmovable faith, being unmovable. Matter of fact, I can get that in um in First Corinthians 15, but that's what the Lord is looking for from all of us. That's what it's about. For you brothers and sisters that's coming to this truth, you coming to this knowledge. It's not about knowing a whole bunch of precepts. It's not about cursing out the so-called white man. Now you do hear brothers bring out precepts, brothers bring out scriptures pertaining to particular things, pertaining to the prophecies, pertaining to history, pertaining to the law. You'll hear that. And also we do curse out Esau, hey, uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. We set our face against Mount Seir and we prophesy against it. But see, these are things you... um. You see face value. It's, deep, it's deeper than that. Like people say, um, it's deeper than rap. <laughs> you know, hey, it's, it's deeper than that. This really is our life. And once again, it's, it's the battle for our souls, man. At the end of the day, are we on the side of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Or are we on the side of the world? And if you're on the side of the world, you're on the side of Satan, you know. But dealing with the faith, verse 7 again, rooted and built up in him. Established in the faith. So, that's what we're doing in this truth. We came in this truth to be rooted in the faith and built up in the faith of Yahusha. To, to pattern ourselves after Yahusha. All right. That's what it's all about. As ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Being grateful. It's another thing, too. A lot of guys are ungrateful, man. You know, you look at the Sakari, even to Zaryak. You learn from Great Millstone at one point. And a lot of men being deceived. All right. I'll tell you what, I'll read verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. Right, because you see the carnality of these different men. All right. But anyway. Let me read verse 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Which the Godhead, that's not what people call the Holy Trinity. But you do have what's called the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, but they're separate entities. You know? They agree. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. And that's the point. The, the fullness of Yahweh Shah being in us, man. Okay, now let me see. I'm gonna get that in First Corinthians 15, and I'm gonna end off on this. First Corinthians chapter 15, beginning at verse 57. But thanks be to Yahweh, the heavenly Father, which giveth us the victory, the win through our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, because He already conquered the flesh. Which means that he conquered death and he conquered this world. You know, therefore, my beloved brethren, the house of David, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Going back to the brother lesson. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Which is why you see brothers doing the work at the frequency they're doing it. Okay. Which it goes back to faith, which is, you know, why you see brothers going hard like that. It all goes back to faith. So that's the point. At the end of the day, the time we're coming in, that's what's going to be tested. And that's what we're going to have, have to, uh, you know, fully be persuaded in our faith. And you how about Shem Yahweh Shai, even when it looks like we threw, so to speak. You know, that's why hey, Jay going through certain things right now. And we not through. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey, uh, Akim, stay doing what you do. You know, you Akim and Akwaf, you know, that are listening and learning. And a, and a main thing, too, a, a main tool that we have is prayer. Prayer along with fasting, okay? And beginning with prayer, 
That's what we got to do. Okay. So this is it. Lord willing. Hey Amen. This may be the year because a lot of things are happening at the same time. So I brought this out. This is edifying. All right. I want to give all praise to our power. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.